Hello and welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I hope you're well today. We've got a cracking little engine here. Look at this, sent in from Engine DIY. Just 1.6 cc this. <laughs> it's amazing. Tiny, tiny little model compared to their larger models. I'll compare it in a minute side to side on the bench, but what a lovely piece of kit. Let's get it on the bench and have a closer look at it. First thing that hits you when you get this out of the box is how much smaller and more intricate it is than their previous models. I mean, look at the quality on this. Can you see that? All of those brass gearings there for the speed regulator. It is really, really nicely made. Hidden below this dust shield, which is not a bad thing, is the crankcase there with the, uh, with the conrod. And Again, this one has sealed bearings. Hopefully you can see that on the, on the main shaft there. They're not oil fed, they're ball bearing races. Really, really nice. Just 1.6 cc is the capacity. Cylinder dimensions is uh, just 13 millimeters piston in there. Weighs just over one kilo, so it's not light for what it is. Another feature, which is quite nice, is that the fuel tank is below the engine on this one. So that's quite a, a good solution. Tiny little carburetor with a mixture, mixture screw. A spark plug that we can, we can get out if we need to take it out to clean it. And then the two valves there in the cylinder head, because this is a hit and miss engine. The intake and, and the exhaust. It does have a little key there so you can uh, use the supplied bar. You also get some silicon piston seals and a new fuel line but you can use that su supplied bar there to turn this I believe anti-clockwise with an electric drill but this one really shouldn't take too much starting at all because it is uh, such a small such a small engine but just look at the detail solid brass cap there for the fuel tank. Once again the gears that will need to be oiled and the centrifugal weights there. Really, really nice high quality. Let me just zoom out and I'll bring in a, uh, a full size model. You can appreciate how small and compact this one is. So here you go, this is a full size model. And as you can see, it's half the size, isn't it? It's, it's rather tiny compared, but they haven't skimped on anything. It's still got the same quality of all of the components. It's just that everything's been slightly reduced, makes it a little bit more easier to handle. Now you do get operating instructions on this one. It's very good actually, it's comprehensive and it explains to, um, about the oiling process. There's no oil feed on the piston on this one, so you definitely will need to run it with a little bit of two stroke oil mixed in with the petrol. Um, you can use pretty much lighter fuel, kerosene, unleaded petrol. It will run on most things. It does take a little bit of getting started. Well, at least they normally do. They take a little bit of getting started, the, these engines, and you have to uh, adjust the screw. It has been factory preset, of course, but it depends on what grade of fuel you're going to be using. I think someone said in the comments, oh, you know, I, I don't want to spend all that time fiddling with it. I just want it to start straight away. But you missed the point. The whole idea of this, it's a tinkerer's dream. It, it is to adjust everything and get everything running really, really nice. And it's such a pleasure when it does start and it does run. So I think without further ado, we'll go and take this outside. We'll fuel it up. We'll uh, just quickly get all of the touch points oiled and then uh, we can start it for the first time. Apologies for any wind noise we might get on the video. It's very windy out here today. So one of the best features of this model is that everything is done for you. It's completely constructed. It's all finished. The only thing that you need to do is first is to add batteries. And as you can see, there's the coil pack on the bottom of the engine here. Very nicely finished. Just need three AA batteries runs on 4.5 volts and that's it all done now we will need to lubricate all of the contact surfaces i i use this this is singer oil um used to be a gunsmith oil and also used on sewing machines 
you can use any any thin oil you don't want to put steam oil or anything on these very fine surfaces and then when it comes down to your fuel like I say it'll run on lighter fuel kerosene but you will need to mix in a small amount of two-stroke oil I recommend bet somewhere between two and four percent of the volume I've already pre-mixed mine here so I'm going to go ahead now speed it all up get it all oiled up and we'll get some fuel in the tank and then we just need to prime the carburetor and once the engine is running the fuel will be sucked in via the vacuum of the piston itself but to, uh, to eliminate any air bubbles we do need to prime the fuel pipe so we just need to hold that off there there we go make sure we remove all all bubbles any bubbles will uh, cause us problems in starting there we go I think we're ready to begin now these normally do take a little bit of patience to get these to start so we switch on the ignition and start uh, just giving it a little turn don't need to turn it too fast get it to fire. As I say you can use an electric drill which uh, we might have to resort to. Tell you something, the um, mixture screw is very sensitive on this one. It seems to flood quite easy. Literally giving that micro turns to get it right. It's firing though. Eh? Almost got that fuel um, carburetor setting, it's almost closed. It's running very lean. Come on. That's it. That's got it. Just a little bit more. There she goes. Sweet spot. Running really nice, very smooth for a hit and miss engine. Very little vibration. on it it increases the fire rate
So there it is. It, isn't it lovely? Really running very, very nice, this model. A little bit tricky to get started. But once you've got the settings, you just don't have to touch anything. Running very, very cool as well. And there you go. And there we go, end of the video. Isn't it a lovely, isn't it a lovely model? As always, there is that little bit of tinkering involved. If you've ever owned an old car, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or even an old lawnmower that you have to keep pulling and taking out the spark plugs, checking your gap. It's all relevant on these, uh, on these models. This was sent in from Engine DIY, so cheers, thank you to them. If you're interested, there'll be a link to their website and this model in the description. I also get a little tiny discount, so if you're maybe thinking of purchasing one of these engines or any other thing on the website, just make sure you use my discount code and save yourself a few quid. And while you're there, just check out their website, guys, because it's amazing what they do, model running and static petrol engines also jet engines would you believe and steam engines of course I will warn you if you do buy one of these um, they're incre incredibly addictive and I'm afraid you will want another one <laughs> that is the trouble of them these, these models are just so addictive but anyway I'll leave that up to you as always the thumbs up from Fred in the shed thank you very much for your view time do appreciate you dropping by if you get a second just hit me a thumbs up down below I like to see that and that helps the channel but as for now as always Please, please, please look after each other, guys. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Fred's in the shed where the magic unfolds. Fred in the shed with his trusty CB. He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.